Backyard Bee Builder here and today I've got another fun thing for you to do with your excess beeswax. So I'm not a super crafty person and so I don't typically do a whole lot of stuff like this but um, it's really simple, really easy and it makes really fun gifts. Um, so to start out, I've got these little silicone molds and these are some molds that I just ordered off of Amazon. Um, they were like five bucks. They're not a whole lot but they're in the shape I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're in the shape of a beehive with a little bee on them. And they're super cute um, and they just kind of add to it. Now you can use candle molds or you can use um, any kind of soap mold or whatever you want to do there. Um, but they're just really fun. Now if you don't have any kind of mold, um, you can just use little jars. Um, you can use a mason jar. Um, this is just a jar that I picked up offline. It's really cute and I thought it would make a really cute candle. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Um, so this is some box that I rendered off of my own hive. If you're interested in that, you can check out one of my other videos. Um, but I put it inside of my wax pot. And now this is the only reason I use this wax pot. So it's all melted and ready to go. Ready to go so that's really nice. Um, and I can get started on my candles. Um, now, when I bought these molds, they didn't have a place for a wick. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and I got a little neater needle or um, like this is just a little screwdriver and I poked a hole right in the center of my candle where I wanted the wick to go and just poked a hole through the silicone and that will enable me to fish a wick through it. Um, now let's talk about wicks. Um, you can go to the store and you can buy wicks. Um, they're not super expensive but they're really easy to make at home if you decide to do that. Um, you can just get some normal cotton, 100% cotton string. find a some kind of a book or box that is about the size of the wicks that you want them to be and I've just wrapped this several times around um, and it's just a package of multiplication cards my kids use um, and with that I'm gonna just slip my scissors in there and cut it and then I'll do hold it tight and on the other end I'll cut it again and that gives me a bunch of equally sized wicks to use on my candles. Um, I don't have to measure them out. They're all about the same size and um, ready to go. But I will just go ahead and throw them in my wax pot to coat them with wax. So here I've got my wax all melted down. I'm going to go ahead and just throw my wicks in there. I've got a disposable spoon that I use for this purpose. And just throw them around and make sure they all get coated. Um, now once they're all coated, you can just pull them out and put them onto a piece of wax paper or parchment paper or whatever you have on hand. Now once you have them on your paper, try to move quickly and just separate them. And you want to get them as straight as possible. If they get kind of twisty, they can be difficult to use in candles. And it doesn't take them very long to dry before they are ready to use. As you can see, they're already kind of holding their shape. And that that's a good indicator that they've been coated in wax really well and that they'll work well um, in your candles. Um, they're pretty stiff and they're ready to just thread through. I'm going to go ahead and thread them through that hole I made in the silicone mold. And once I get it in there, I'm going to just go ahead and pull it through. Now the reason why I'm doing it this way is because the top of the candle is actually the bottom of the mold. So I'm going to want the wick to obviously come out the top. Um, so I'm going to put the wick through there uh, while I pour my candle. Um, and now that I've got it turned over and the wick's going through it, I'll go ahead and pour my wax. I've got one more, one more right here. I'm going to get ready. Again, I'm going to just pick where I want my wick to come through the top, poke a hole through the silicone. Um, now the silicone is so tight, even with the wick protruding through it, it'll make a nice seal and you won't have issues with it leaking. If you are planning on making a whole ton of candles, then it's probably going to be beneficial to order more molds. But for me, um, this is just fine. So you can see I've got my two wicks. They've been dipped in wax and so they're sitting up straight right through the center of the candle right where we want them um, and they're looking really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get some wax. Um, I just have a measuring cup and this is just one that I use for this purpose. 
Um, so it's not something that I'm going to worry about cleaning in the future, but uh, definitely don't use anything that you want to use for food later because it's just a mess to clean up. But I'm going to go ahead and get some wax out of my wax pot and fill up my candles. And really, it doesn't get any more simple than this. It really is just fill it up and then let it cool. Try not to overfill it like I did here, um, else you're going to have to probably shave off the bottom of, it, bottom of it to make it look good. For now, But for now, I'll just set these aside and let them dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna just show you how to make one if you're just using like a regular jar or container that you already have on hand. Um, now I've got this wick and I've strung it through this little cardboard disc. Um, now this is something you can make at home or you can tie a, a nut to the bottom of it or a little washer or something. Um, and it doesn't have to be, um, it can be just about anything that has a little bit of weight to it. Um, now I've tied a knot in the bottom of the string and I'm gonna go ahead and dip this wick in the wax so it's ready to go. Okay, once it's been nicely coated, I will make sure that my disc is straight on the bottom and that my wick can dry straight. And I'll let that cool for just a few seconds until it goes hard. I'm going to get just a spoonful of wax, just a few little drops to put in the bottom of my jar. And I'm going to need more than that just to kind of coat the bottom of it. And that's just gonna give my wick something to adhere to so that it can stand up straight. And then I'll give that just a few minutes to dry. Now it doesn't take a long time. Um, it's a very short amount of time. It just kind of gives it something to stand up on so you don't have to sit and hold it the whole time as, as your candle dries. It's looking pretty good. If you need to put something there to support it, um, you can, and that kind of just makes it go a little bit faster so you don't have to hold it. But now that it's all in there and, and standing up straight, I will just add wax to it. So I got my mess cleaned up and now I'm just getting ready um, to take the silicone shells off of my candles. Um, they're really quite easy to do. You just kind of pop them out, be really gentle with the string coming out of it and look how cute they turned out. Um, now that you have them out, you can go ahead and just trim off the bottom of honeycomb Candle, and I couldn't be more pleased. They're so cute. Um, with that, again, just pop it out really carefully. And they are just so cute. They only took about an hour to dry. Um, now on this candle, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this wick right here just so it's small enough that I can actually close the bottle. Um, and then that is ready to go um, to give as a gift. And it turned out really cute. So I've made a lot of different projects recently and they're all having to do with the My Excess V Wax. And they've been really fun projects. Now I really like doing them all about the same time. And the reason why is because if I'm warming up a pot of wax, it's easier just to do all of my wax projects at the same time and then I don't have to get into the mess. It is kind of a mess. Um, you're, using, you're using utensils that are really uh, disposable and they're really difficult to clean. And so um, if I get into them, I like to do them at the same time. So if you're interested in some of the other projects I've done, um, check out some of my other videos. I know I've done candles and lip balm and hand lotion and even wax wraps. So, um, this is the Backyard Bee Builder. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.